towed everything down for this party, so I'll show you what, you know, Hellcats can just do more than just race, they can actually tow. Paul Trelosky, Mo Party, gotta be here. So Bowling Green, uh, originally from Twinsburg, so eight hour drive down here. The Hellcat machine and uh, uh, the police car. I started Resto Mods. I used to just build, you know, every kind of car, GM stuff, and now everybody seems to get older and they want to just uh, hit a button and go, so. Uh, I started out with LS's, I did a Ford, and I just started in the uh, Hellcats because it was just something that was out there. I got a buddy that gets these things at a really good price, so I'm like, yeah, I'll go experiment. So, worked through Gearstar to build an automatic transmission that'll hold the power, you know, so we just started going at it and just configure things just to make them work. And do something different because everybody does cars and stuff, you know, I'll do a dually and tow with it so you can take it to the extreme, you know. It's, you know, it's like a boat motor. When you put them for towing, they got to hold up. You know, a few seconds down the track, a light car, yeah, you're not putting much load on. When you get this, you're beating it up. <laughs> so, uh, it's actually a 78 Dodge, uh, made to look like a 75 through 72 version, just because of the grill, but it's same body style through 93. So it's a first gen Dodge. Uh, Arizona truck, it's all original. It's all the original body, rust free, but all the panels have been modified throughout it. So. It's got custom wide dualies that are on it. Um, they're extra wide, extra long, custom wide rims, uh, air ride system, uh, disc brakes, modified uh, brackets to accept wheel wood six pistons now because it wouldn't stop before with the Hellcat. 4L85E transmission, so it's a four speed overdrive. Uh, it's a three clutch uh, converter, so it stalls at different rates. So it keeps it locked up under load unless you're really getting into it. And depending what you're doing with it, it'll go in and out, makes it easier. Gets a lot of luck, it's all on air ride too, so it just sits on the ground and it's just like, and then somebody will come up to you at a street light and their little Honda, oh yeah, look at he's got this wild little wrap, you know, and they take off and you just smoke a little tuner car and they're like, what the hell was in that thing? So every year I build something for power tool. All my buddies will just get it something and put together. So, oh, I get that cop car. How funny would that be? You know, we'll go run around and see how much trouble we get in. It was supposed to be like a Hot Wheels style car, just to be like really wild, really out there. All the lights and everything worked. It was a fully dressed police car when I got it. The guy, it was just a little village and they were using it as a parade car and everything else. Put a Hellcat in that, it was the, the first one to do it. And I'm like, all right, let's go. We did power tour in it and we went all through last year with it. We put 8,000 miles on that car through all roadkill at every event that we could find in the Midwest we were doing everything with that car and just beat the piss out of it literally it's so about three sets of tires um, same transmission another 4L85E built a little differently for racing uh, running a Dana 60 out of like a 71 Charger so it's a little wider it makes the tires fit a little bit better no frills on that there's no air conditioning no heat it's just standard column shift and just go at it